Hello everybody, my name is Wilder, and today I want to talk about Wii U ports on the Switch. A huge chunk of the Wii U's exclusive library has been imported over to the Switch. That's not a secret. In fact, I'm pretty interested to see how many exclusives the Wii U will actually have left at the end of the Switch's life. Not gonna lie, that's gonna be a really interesting number. Anyway, Nintendo keeps porting all these games, and they keep selling really, really well, which is, you know, kinda why they keep porting them. In fact, the Wii U games that are being ported over to the Switch have outsold the original games on the Wii U. So it makes sense for Nintendo to continue. Due to the Wii U's failure, there are a lot of people who never owned one. Or there are people like me who got rid of their Wii U's when the Switch came out, but kinda miss one or two games from it that they would love to revisit. Nintendo understands this too, and this is a big reason as to why these games are being ported in the first place. You know, putting aside the fact that they can charge full price for an old game and it'll still sell like crazy. But it allows people who didn't touch the Wii U with a 10-foot pole to finally experience these games, while also making up for lost sales when it came to the Wii U and its library. Apparently there are reports from a pretty reliable source, from what I hear, that there are still at least two Wii U ports coming to the Switch this year in 2020. Price arguments aside, this is pretty exciting for a lot of us. Let's talk about this and take a look at what these games could actually be. Now one game that I see appear a lot in this conversation, which kind of surprises me, honestly, is Nintendo Land. I'm actually a pretty big fan of this game and thought it was a really interesting idea with a lot of fun games that are perfect to play with friends. As much as I like this game though, I don't think it will be making a return. A lot of the games in Nintendo Land are developed with the gamepad in mind, heavily so when it comes to a few specific games. I mean, they could be reworked, but that's going to be a lot of work. A lot of those games would have to be completely torn apart, and I just don't think it would work at all for some of the games, especially when you take into account how couch co-op worked for some of these games. All this plus the fact that, from what I've seen anyway, there seems to be very low demand for it outside of this particular conversation. I don't think this will be making a return. It was definitely a fun game, but I think the Wii U is going to end up keeping this one for itself. Now another game that I don't really think will be making a return either, but is definitely being talked about, is Star Fox Zero. I never owned this game, and according to the sales for it, apparently I'm not alone. A lot of people did not own this game. Star Fox Zero sold well initially, but in Japan it ended up being the worst selling game in the series history. The game received a lot of criticism too, mostly for its controls. A lot of people were saying that they were uncomfortable, annoying, hard to get used to, it seems like this game's big problem came from it being on the Wii U, though. Which sucks, because it was a Wii U game. Because of this, and the fact that the game definitely has an audience, it makes sense that people would want a port of it on the Switch. I mean, it means they could fix the control scheme, at least. Because of the game's overall poor sales, especially in Japan, though, I think Nintendo will probably skip this game, and port something that was a little more popular, and go for a more of a, you know, safer option. Now, a game that I really want, but is in a little bit of a weird area now, is Xenoblade Chronicles X. This is a Wii U game that is talked about all the time, and seeing as how amazing Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 are, I can see why. The director of Monolith Soft said that he would love to play Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Switch. Well, that's awesome. That should be it, right? Case closed. Xenoblade Chronicles X should be one of the ports coming. Well, unfortunately, that's not all there is to it. The game didn't pull amazing sales overall, which, you know, is never a good thing when you're looking to put money and time towards bringing a game back. On top of that though, the director of Monolith Soft also said that porting this game would also take a lot of effort, and money is definitely a factor that stands in the way. Even still, I don't think that Xenoblade Chronicles X eventually being ported to the Switch is too far outside the realm of possibility. I mean, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 sold amazingly well on the Switch back in 2017, and the first Xenoblade Chronicles is getting a beautiful Definitive Edition on the Switch soon. If this Definitive Edition sells anywhere near as well as Xenoblade Chronicles 2 sold, then it might show them that a port of X would be worth that time and money. I want this port, I really really do. I would like to finally play this game, and I know that a lot of other people would too. Really though, I leave it up to how well Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition sells when it comes out. Another game that I think has a really good chance and that I love is Super Mario 3D World. I love this game, absolutely adore it. I got this game when I still owned my Wii U, and it's my favorite, we'll say, more traditional Mario game, I guess, if you can call it that. I'm not a fan of the newer side-scrolling Mario games, but I love 3D World and its take on those games. 3D World is talked about a lot, and I think it has a really good chance at being one of the ports. 
Super Mario 3D World was critically acclaimed, and while its initial sales were low, it ended up being the second best-selling Wii U game of all time, right behind Mario Kart 8. This game is really fun and was a huge success. It would be a smart move to port this game to the Switch, especially with how many people want it. I see it all over Twitter. I just think it would be a really smart move. I think it would also be a smart move for Nintendo to give us Wind Waker HD on the Switch. Another amazing game. I don't think I need to tell you how good Wind Waker itself is, but the HD version on the Wii U was well received and sold really well. It's in the top 10 best-selling Wii U games list. It looked beautiful on the Wii U though, its upgraded visuals were handled perfectly, and it's got a lot of quality of life improvements. I would love this game to come to the Switch along with a lot of other people. Being able to take one of my favorite Zelda games on the go with me would be amazing. However, if they're going to port Wind Waker HD, then I think they should just do what Twitter has been screaming about forever and release a dual pack for the Switch. That includes Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD. Twilight Princess HD is another game I owned for the Wii U. It looked great, I had a lot of fun with it, I would love to have both of these games on the Switch. Like I said before, having one of my favorite Zelda games on the go with me would be amazing. This includes Twilight Princess. I'm not sure how likely a dual pack is though, because let's face it, Nintendo could easily sell both of these games for a full price again. But if we were to break them apart, I think that Wind Waker HD would have a better chance at getting a port than Twilight Princess. That's just my opinion, and that's what I'd prefer anyway. That doesn't change the fact that I would still love both of these games on the Switch though. If I had to choose just one though, it would be Wind Waker. That's just personal preference. Now the last game on my list here is, let's face it, probably gonna happen, 100% gonna happen, I really hope it's gonna happen, Pikmin 3. Pikmin 3 is the game that everyone is talking about. You know, Pikmin 3 came out on August 4th, 2013 in North America, and since then we've only seen Hey Pikmin for the 3DS. People didn't really like the idea of it, with how different its gameplay was from the general idea of what Pikmin actually is. I played Hey Pikmin, it was a good game. I mean, it was definitely a spin-off, but it was it was good, it didn't deserve the hate that it got. We've heard talk about Pikmin 4 for a long time now. Some people say that Pikmin 4 is still coming. Some people say that Pikmin 4 was referring to Hey Pikmin. Regardless of what you think about that though, I think we can all agree that it's been quite a while since Nintendo has given us anything Pikmin. With all the talk of the Wii U ports going around though, Pikmin 3 has blown back up in conversation again. People are screaming from the rooftops for Nintendo to bring Pikmin 3 to the Switch, and I'm one of them. I owned Pikmin 3 back on the Wii U. Unfortunately, I didn't get to play a whole lot of it, so I didn't get to experience it properly, which sucks. But if they were to bring it to the Switch, which I've been wanting since I learned that Nintendo is really into porting Wii U games, then I would finally get to play this game for real. Everyone seems to think that this is a sure thing, that this is going to happen. I mean, the Pikmin 3 website apparently went down, is what I heard, and everyone started screaming. I mean, people are hyped for anything Pikmin, and it definitely shows. I have to admit though, like I said, I'm right there with them. I really want this too. If this gets ported to the Switch, I will be picking it up day one. The control scheme will have to change quite a bit, especially because the gamepad was a big part of this game, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It's nothing as crazy as Nintendo Land would be. I would love for every one of these games on this list to be ported to the Switch. I'd be happy with that. But if I'm only picking two, then honestly, Pikmin 3 and Super Mario 3D World get my vote. Those two seem like they would be the smartest moves to make for Nintendo, and I would be insanely happy for these two to come to the Switch. I guess a little later in the year we'll have to come back to this video and see if I was right. Who knows? However, that's going to be it from me today. What games do you think are going to be ported to the Switch? Let me know in those comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. All links are down in the description along with the names of my wonderful, amazing patrons. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.